Right then folks, just spoke to a woman who's recognised my voice, she, she looks at my videos sometimes, and my pictures and that, yeah, anyway, I'm getting famous you see, basically I have just bumped into a group of about five people who've parked up by the Roman road, now they could have done a walk down by the river Axon Round. Um, that is a beautiful walk actually. But I just thought the plantation would be enough, to be quite honest. I mean, we shouldn't even say words like that anymore. It conjures up sort of slavery, doesn't it? The plantation. Oh god, I can never get it right. They can do what they want. If they'd asked that woman, she would have told them to go down by the river. I said they could catch me up yet. They're all bloody fit, aren't they? Fit and young, they haven't been out all day walking. Probably halfway now, they won't catch me up. Wouldn't have thought so. <sighs> anyway, once again, we're going through the bridle path. This is Mission B. <sighs> I found a way through a gap in the hedge a while back. And um, basically what I'm doing is I'm going to do that today. Rather than have gone down there to Canada Coombe, I'm doing... Um, a sort of long shortcut, if you can get my meaning. This bit always catches me out, you know, this bit here. It's more of a hill than you think. more of a hell than you think. I've had a bit, I stopped occasionally to have a bit of a picnic. Um, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do once I get in Hutton Woods. I've got to look at the time and everything to make that sort of decision. Um, Of course, there is a walk that somebody told me where it came out of, which I could do instead, actually. You walk down the bottom of Hutton. Instead of going all the way to Bleeding and that, all that, you can walk at the base of the woods, and it comes out near the walnut tree, which is... Well, it is still town and roads, though, isn't it? Town and roads. I'm just thinking whether I ought to do it today, if this was suitable time. I'm going to decide, though. I think that was something I might do. I would decide whether to try a new track at the base of Hutton Woods that would bring me out near the Winterstoke Road. Of course, I don't know. There are ways through, but I don't really know them. You can cut through the estate and um, get back to where I live. I don't know if I... I'm not quite sure if I know that way or not. Now, of course, that road along there again. <sighs> Might be worth doing. I think 
hope I will. Right, turning off for now. I've just been thinking out loud, really, that there's a walk. Instead of doing what I normally do, go to bleeding, I'm thinking of down the bottom of Church Lane at Hutton, there's this bridle path, and I asked somebody the other day, and they said it comes out near the Walnut Tree Pub. So I reckon I'm going to do that today. Seems a perfect time to do it. There's <sighs> lovely views, everyone. I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow, because this, this is going to be classed as quite a big hike. Tomorrow, I think, will be... It's going to be very hot. And I think it'll be too hot for doing any hiking. It's going to be a lot hotter than today. See, a few years back, I would have said, oh, I'm going over to Bramwell again, do that track. You know, that's what I was like, and I would have done it. I used to cycle in the heat. Hot stage of the year, I was cycling. I've run um, a marathon. The Wokingham Marathon, one and a half marathon. When it was the hottest day of the year, it was, uh, yeah, I, it was six weeks after I'd done the London Marathon. And, um, it's six weeks after I'd done the London Marathon. And, um, Right, keep going, Shield, because otherwise you're going to bump into them. <laughs> this always gets me, this little lane, you know. It always fools me. I think I'm nearly there, and then it goes on for another mile. Anyway, it is a nice little lane, actually. Now I'm up the top of it. Right, over and out. Got to keep some for um, when I do a new bridal path soon. Over and out. Right. He, d he uses this path. I've seen him. I'm in this field. It saved me doing Canada Coombe and 
I'm not going in here either. Just gonna stop here for a minute. Get my breath back. And there's the wood, the start of the wood there, look. They were in the he's got a camera up with them trees, I don't know if that's true. Anyway, I didn't I I didn't, I didn't see this sign. I'm not gonna climb there, I'm gonna go along here because you can just walk into the wood after a while, even though it's got this fence up. After a while, you can just walk. This is nice, it's a nice breeze. I'm videoing it because I haven't videoed, I haven't walked on this side before, but the wood's in there. And as soon as I've got a chance, I'm going to walk into it. It's all part of exploration. There's no cows. There's some bunnies. So I've just walked through the bridle path of that. The plantation's further over. And then beyond that, over the motorway, was Banwell Wood. Which is what I've done today. I'm just having a nice little walk. There's a wall up there, that's where people park and have a picnic. But it's good to see it from this angle here as well. It's always good to know Couple of rabbits, look, see? A couple of rabbits there. There's a rabbit hole. There's two rabbits, one's eating, one's sunbathing. First rabbits I've seen really properly for a long time. I mean, quite often they used to have cows in here, and further up where the fence was down, they used to roam into the wood. A whole family of little rabbits there. Every now and again, I expect he comes along here and puts the fencing up to stop people like me enjoying the countryside. Yeah, enjoying the countryside. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm in a field look on a beautiful summer's day, everyone. It's absolutely beautiful. And, um, absolutely beautiful. But, um, it would be funny if he has put fencing up all the way along to since I was last here. <laughs> I'm nearly through the wood now. It's all right, I don't mind. I think the fencing ends in a minute. Down here a bit. Yeah, it's just nice to get out in the field. To fill the air, to fill the everything. Here we go, it comes from, maybe that was the end of his bit. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he don't do the lot, especially if he watches this video. But I'm just one person, and what harm am I doing, you know? There we go. This could be where the style is. There we go. I expect a lot of people know this route. Locals. Yeah, there we go. So we've cut out a bit, although in many ways, we taken twice long <laughs> just so I could experience that. And what we'll be doing today is not going to bleeding. We're going to carry on exploring. Take the hat off for a bit. We're going to carry on exploring. So we'll be going down through the wood. We'll be going down through the wood and finding that 
bridle path where I asked somebody and we're going to do that today really getting to know the area well now if you think now if I think back now where I've walked for back towards Banwell I was right really parallel with the high street of Banwell because the castle bit is the other side is um further along you know somebody coming is it a bloke woman okay I'm gonna turn off